Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a really cool little module that will uh, animate to all of your UI in the game, and, and they will give it some really nice hover animations and click animations. So yeah, let's start. What we're going to do is we're going to firstly start by pre pressing the little plus icon uh, right next to replicated storage, and we're going to click module script. Now, right click on your module script, go to rename, and rename it to UI animations. And now we will uh, we will start by well getting the uh, getting twin service first. So local twin service is equal to game colon get service get service twin service. And now what we're gonna do is we will create a function so function module dot mm, shrink and we'll give the UI element so element comma and we'll give the factor and then we will give the speed I'll explain what these do in a minute so Firstly, what we're going to do is we're going to create a cooldown. So before this, go up here and create local size cooldown. Is equal to, and we're going to set it to false. And in here, what we're going to do is we're going to do local uh, size x is equal to element dot size dot x dot scale multiplied by factor. And then we're gonna have to do local size y is equal to element dot size dot y dot scale multiplied by factor. And then after that, what we're gonna do is we will create the twin info. So local shrink info is equal to twin info dot new and drop line. And in here we put the speed. And we will put the uh, easing style, so enum.easing style dot sign, and then enum.easing direction dot in out. And then we will put this to zero and this to true. So, and I'll explain what these do again, and this to zero. So, the speed is basically the speed of the animation, which is a which we sent right here and the easing style is basically the well easing style if you change that to balance it will give it a different animation and the easing direction keep it in out and this is how much how many times the twin will replay and this is uh, will it go back to normal or not so if you set this to true it will go back to its normal size so keep this at true and this is the delay between each twin and now we will create a tween so local uh, shrink tween is equal to tween info dot new uh, i mean uh, sorry uh, is equal to and tween service call create and we'll get the element and put a comma and shrink info so shrink info I mean shrink info let me just copy this and paste it here and put a comma and then we'll change the size to, to use him to dot new and we'll put the size y a size x dot uh, and a comma and zero and a comma and size y and a comma and then zero and now we'll play the tween so shrink tween can play and now if you create a exit out of the uh, module and if you go ahead and create a screen gy and start gy add a text button and what you want to do is you want to make sure that the anchor point of the button is set to 0.5 so make sure you set it to 0.5 and then center your button where put your button wherever you want i'm going to put it right here and I'm going to make it a bit bigger. And then we will add a UI corner to it. So add a UI corner. 
set the corner radius to maybe one comma zero and then we'll make sure that text scale is checked and maybe we'll set the text to shrink or maybe just btn for button or maybe just test and now what we want to do is go to plugins i will leave a link to this plugin in the description go to unit conversion and press scale and now we want to add a local script to your button and then we will put a mouse click event so script parent on mouse button one click on connect function and we will do we'll firstly require the module before this sorry so local module is equal to require and game the replicated storage format for child your animations and now go back to here between these two lines and we're gonna put module uh, dot shrink and we're gonna send script dot parent and the factor which is going to be 0.5 in here and we're gonna send the speed which is going to be in seconds so we're gonna set that to uh, maybe around 0 0.2 seconds and if you go ahead and play the game right now it the button should have a little shrink animation when you press it so let's see if that works so if you press it nothing happens let's see why that happened so flash prog local script attempt to call new a new value okay so i think i know why this happened it's really really simple to fix i think so module dot shrink i spelled shrink wrong so that should be working now and if we go ahead and test the game it should be working just fine and as you can see we have a little shrink animation but we have a little plot problem though if we keep on spamming it the ui gets smaller which is a pretty big problem so to fix this it's really really easy go to your while animations thing and in here we'll check if not size cooldown then what we're going to do is copy all of this Control x go back here and we're going to put uh, size cooldown is equal to true and in here paste all of this and we're going to wait point nine or something or maybe yes point nine and we will set the size cooldown is equal to and we're gonna change that to false and now if you go ahead and play the game we should have a little shrink animation that does not bug so let's see if that works so we press it we're gonna spam it this time and it's not it's not uh, getting smaller so that's really cool and as you can see this is a really really nice little animation for your for example your simulator or anything like that and yeah now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little hover effect so enter your what your uh, ui animations module and in here we're gonna do mo function module dot uh, hover or maybe dot rotate and we're gonna send the element again and the factor and the speed and let's make sure that factor is a has a capital f or actually don't, we don't have to do that we will just put we're, we're gonna create a variable up here so local so local rotation cooldown is equal to false and we'll go down here and we're gonna do if not rotation cooldown then we will say rotation cooldown is equal to false to true i mean and we will create a, another twin info so it's basically the same thing so local uh rotation info rotation info is equal to twins info dot new and we're gonna set this to the speed so again same thing and we can just copy this twenty four right here and just paste it here and in here what we're gonna do is we'll create the tween so local offer tween or rotation tween is equal to tween service create 
and we'll put the element and the rotation info so rotation info and we will put curly brackets and we will put a rotation a rotation is equal to and we'll put it to factor uh sorry i spelled it wrong so factor and in here what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the tween so rotation tween rotation tween oh my god copy this paste it here come play play and then we're gonna wait over point eight seconds and we're gonna send the rotation cooldown to false and now we'll go back to your button script which is this one the local script and we're gonna put script dot parent dot mouse enter call connect function and we'll do module dot and copy the name of your function module dot rotate so module dot rotate and we're gonna send script dot parent and again i'm going to send the factor which is going to be three and make sure the factor is pretty big and then we're gonna send the speed which is going to be point uh zero point three or yeah point four for me and let's check this out so if you go ahead and play the game it should have a little hover animation on the ui okay so now if you go ahead and hover over it it tweens and as you can see that's pretty cool and you can even click it and i really like this you can change the factor if you want i'm going to maybe put it back to maybe change the speed to 0.2 it might look a bit better so let's see okay so if you go ahead and hover over this as you can see it twins when you click and when you hover so that's really nice now what we're gonna do is i'm going to be showing you how to do this for any ui on your game and how to use it so let's say i have another text button or maybe a yeah let's go with a text button and let's say i have like this button right here let's say like say buy button or something let's add a ui corner to it to make it look a bit better let's change this to 0.2 comma 0 and let's change the text to purchase or buy and text scale to true and the text color to maybe a nice white and the background color to maybe a nice green and now i'm going to be showing you how to use this module so i'm going to firstly change the font to a nice uh font so i like using uh for these buy buttons i like using uh maybe luckiest guy or i don't remember the name of the font that i really like uh yeah bangers and i'm going to change the background color to a darker color Maybe something like this, yes. And what we're gonna do to make it work is set the anchor point to 0.5 and just position your UI and go to plugins. I'll leave a link to this plugin and just put it to scale. And now you wanna just copy this code and just duplicate the script and just put it inside of this and you should be good to go. So if you go ahead and test this, it should work perfectly. So if we go and hover over the test button, as you can see, it works, it rotates, and when we click it, it shrinks, and when you press it, it shrinks. So that's really cool. Now I'm going to be showing you what, uh, what these uh, parameters do. So to do that, uh, we will go on the buy button, and I'm going to be showing you what it does. So this is the shrink one. So the factor, if you put this to a higher number, multiplied by two, uh, it should make it bigger when you hover over it. When you press it, I mean, 
which is not really what we want and as you can see it makes it it just makes it bigger and it does not make any sense so i need to make it smaller so make sure you always put this number to a number that is under one so if you put it to for example uh, 0 0.8 it will go scale down and yeah that's all it does so it will shrink and as you can see when we set it to 0.8 it looks really nice and the lower this number is the smaller it will get and this is the time that it takes to shrink and for the rotation if you set this for example to 60 and this to one second you probably already know what it does it just rotates 60 degrees which is again not what we want so make sure you keep that number pretty low uh, as you can see that's pretty weird maybe you want this for like a another game so that it like rotates a bar or something i don't really know you can use it and whatever you want i'm just going to put this at three because three looks pretty cool and let's say you only want the shrink animation to do that you just go over your text button and actually maybe you want it so that uh when you hover over it it uh rotates and then go sh shrinks up and then goes back so to do that you just put uh script dot pen dot mouse enter just call the shrink function so module dot shrink and maybe just or actually let's create a new function for that actually no so module dot shrink and we can just do this but instead of this we're gonna multiply it by a higher number like for example 1.3 and maybe it should be working now i'm not sure though So it's not working. Uh, let's see why that happens. So shrink module dot oh module module dot shrink. That's that's why. So let's do this, and it should be fixed. And now, if you hover over it, it should get bigger. But as you can see, I have a little problem. I don't know if you noticed that or not, but. It kind of, it's really buggy. That's why I said to create a new function. So uh, I'm not going to be doing that in this tutorial. Just forget about what I said. And yeah, that's basically it for today's tutorial. If this helped, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.